Hello and welcome to my um, seventh tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use array lists. Um, in this example here, you'll see that I've defined an array with the length of five and I've called it my boolean and its data type is a boolean and I've set the value at index four to true. And then I've tried to change the um, length of my array to 10. But what will happen here is, is that it will lose all previous stored data it will work and it will compile but the result will not be what we want the result what you should expect would be true and true because we're telling it to print out both these values that we've set but let's just test this and we get false and true and that's because when we say boolean my boolean equals new boolean 10 it loses all previous data so using array lists we can get around that so let's import the imports we need import I'm just going to quickly pause the video Right, so there are two imports. We're going to be using Java utility array list and Java utility list. Right, so let's go ahead and define our list. So we say list, and then we use the two triangular brackets. I'm not sure what their correct name would be. And boolean with a capital B. And then we say my list equals a new array list boolean. And then we have our Parentheses. Right, so we've got a list, but there's nothing on it. So if we was to say system dot out print name my list plus my list capital S at L, we get nothing. We just get two brackets that look a bit like an array because there's nothing in our list. So how do we add stuff to our list? We would say my list dot add and because this is a boolean, we would say true. So the first one at index zero by default, I could say zero like that, but you don't need to because you've only got one at the moment. Uh, go ahead and compile that. And now we'll say true. Then we can add as many of those as we like. And we'll separate those with uh, commas. And that's pretty much how a list works. But I'll show you with a string. Let me quickly compile right. So let's quickly compile this and now my list first uh, listed item equals hello and that's stated there so I can say zero and I'll use the control D utility and copy that and then state one hello I copy again and having fun right, so I am having Let me say one, two, three, four. Hello, I messed up. Zero, one, two, three. Hello, I am. Hello, I am having fun. What you could also do is, is define an int here. Say int i equals nothing. Actually, it equals yeah, we could just do that. And then we can say i plus plus after each one of these objects. Put space there. And then we can say i, 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 i. Oops. Not i, b, i. And then we can just copy this to the end. Just go douche, do, do, do. Rather than copying out different numbers. And might not be initialized. Okay, we couldn't do that. Equals zero. And we get the same result. Hello, I am having fun. Using the um, plus one operator. Right, so that's how to add um, data to your list. Uh, what about removing data? Let's try and remove. Let's let's set actually. Let's try set. So I'll say my list dot set. Uh, use index, which would be zero one, because we're going to change the I to we, and then I change it to we, like so. So we are having fun. And compile and run. Hello, we. Duplicate that to R. Hello, we are having fun. So you can see there, 
very versatile, I think the word would be appropriate used to use. And you can add as many new um, objects or no variables to your list as you like without having to lose previous data. Um, removing, so I'd say my list dot remove and then you state the index so it'll say I, uh, we are having fun rather than saying hello. So compile that and run. We are having fun. Um, if you'd like a list of the other methods you can use with um, an array list just go to Google and pretty much just type in array list Java and your first result should be this page uh, I'm not going to go to Google All right. and if you scroll down you'll see method summary haven't showed you this sort of stuff before All right, you've got add, and you've got index and you've got the element and our element we're using which is like a data type is string the index we're using this plus plus method bear with me I'll make sure that phone's not in my room next time Right, so we've got method summary and add method. We? we justify the index, which is an integer type, and we then justify the uh, parameter for the element, which is our string type. And we've given that the name hello, I'm, or I am having fun. Um, the other one was without the index, as shown here, um, which is a boolean type, that's interesting. Um, add all, which is collection, I won't get into that. Uh, add all with an index and collection. Uh, clear. Should I show you clear? Yeah, show you clear. Say so my list dot clear. And it's empty, you'll clear it out. Rather than saying, I don't know, I guess we could do it like this. No, let's try that. No, no, it sets it to a value. Then just ignore that part then. Right, um, what else we got in here? Contains, so we can check if it contains uh, a value. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You can also get the value, so I can say if, um, one second, let me write this up. Hmm. Right, so what we have here is, is my list dot get zero at the index zero. If it equals we, then it will print out this message. So let's go ahead and compile that and mess it up. Zero. Oh, yeah, of course, I've just cleared it. Quickly remove clear. Compile again and run. And it says here, my index zero string equals we. That applied, that condition applied as true. So that's pretty much it with array lists. They're very, very simple and very handy to use. Thanks for watching my tutorial.